When I decided to make an e-bike from my coaster bike, I didn't think it's a bad idea or it's impossible. But later I found out a lot of coaster bike owners have some doubts of such transformation. And those who never owned a coaster bike just think out some idiotic reasons against it. Living in CIS, I can see people here like to flaunt their wealth and show off. It's in everything, and people buy bikes only for show. Plain and practical single-speed coaster bike with 28 inches wheels is not a bike for people here. They think such bikes look ugly. Funny, but at the same time no one respects bikers, because cool man drives a car. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to say too many bikers think a coaster bike can be transformed to an e-bike. I've met such people many times before I had my hub motor and I meet them now when I already ride my coaster e-bike. The very first and the most stupid case was when hub motor dealers told me the fork of my bike is narrower than fork of 26 inches wheel bikes and they didn't even want to try it on. They just said haughtily, buy a normal bike with wheels like this and they pointed at their 26 inches wheel bikes. Afterwards I found out my fork has standard width 100 millimeters. I want to note that actual size is even wider. Installing a wheel and tightening the nuts up you make it 100 millimeters wide. Second stupid opinion I faced was expressed by another motor dealer. You can't install a hub motor more powerful than 350 watts to a coaster bike. Why? Because, attention, there's no front brake. Is it a big deal to install any brake to the front of a coaster bike? Is there any necessity to have a front brake? Of course, it's much better to have it, but a lot of coaster bikes can ride without it. When you use a motor, the speed can be increased, so maybe it's safer to have brakes on both wheels. Well, the simplest way is to use a caliper brake. There are many options and different prices. I use the cheapest one. Riding on a plain road with 500 watts hub motor, I never use it, except the cases when I can't use rear brake because of chain problems. Actually, that was the reason why I have installed the caliper brake. Afterwards, I began to use it riding down in hills. So the motor hasn't caused the installation of the front brake. By the way, I remodeled the caliper brake on my bike to use it with 26 inches wheel. I've bought a motor in 26 inches rim because of low price. If you don't like caliper brakes, you can change your fork to use V-brakes instead. It brakes more effectively in most cases. And still V-brake fork is not expensive. This fork looks just like a coaster bike fork, but it made for V-brakes. There was the comment on my YouTube channel. Having no shock absorbers on e-bike is idiocy. It's not a problem, you can use a fork with absorbers, but there's no way to use rear absorber. True coaster bike owner doesn't even think about it. Coaster bikes in CIS are commonly used as cargo bikes. People here may carry a very big and heavy cargo on a coaster bike. So, when they carry any long cargo that is fixed rigidly in front, back and in the middle, the rear absorber hinders. And if the cargo on the rack is too heavy, the rear absorber just may be broken. The same person wrote in comments, riding a coaster bike leads to disability. When I've been to Netherlands, I haven't seen many bikes with shock absorbers. Of course, there are some, but it's hard to notice them, because everyone uses coaster bikes and cargo bikes in the Netherlands. And uh, I've seen two e-bikes without shock absorbers, one in Netherlands, another one made in Netherlands I've seen in my city. And I've never heard there are a lot of people with physical disabilities in the Netherlands. The most common opinion about a coaster bike in CIS is that it is the ugliest bike ever has been designed. It's senseless to argue. 
tastes differ. I just want to say the bike look does not affect any technical specifications and capabilities. What difficulties may occur? Is there any problem installing electric motor to a coaster bike? First is rim diameter. Because of 26 inches wheel popularity, it's hard to find hub motor in 28 inches rim among local sellers sometimes. However, it's not a problem. You just need to pre-order it or buy it in internet. What did I do? I installed 26 inches wheel instead of 28 and remodeled the brake a little. Second, you may install easily only a front hub motor to a coaster bike. Of course, you may sacrifice a coaster brake for a rear hub motor, but in that case, you must increase braking power of your front brake and install any rear brake. And there is one more problem. Rear hub motors need 135 millimeters or more to be installed. There are only 100 mm between the dropouts on a coaster bike, just like the fork width. Actually, when the wheel is removed, the width is a little wider. I can easily use 120 mm axis on my coaster bike. Maybe it is possible to expand the width more and install the rear 135 mm hub motor. Or you can install the front 100 mm motor to the back. But then there is a big problem with sprocket. I prefer to keep a coaster brake because it's simple and reliable. In case you install a mid-drive motor to a coaster bike, you cannot shift gears. Torque arms. Steel forks are usually used on coaster bikes. So in most cases there's no need to reinforce the fork. The local dealer told me for sure the steel fork won't be broken even with 1000 watts motor in it. I have only 500 watts. However, I load my bike with very heavy cargo and I ride uphill and my front wheel always gets into potholes in asphalt at high speed. There's nothing broken yet. But actually I reinforced my fork after a couple of years. Not for safety, I just made a disc brake adapter. I can't recommend any fork type or model, and my bike is discontinued now. It's Russian Orion 1100. There are some forks that are not fit to hub motor, and it's hard to reinforce them. You just need to look over the fork and think logically whether it frail or not. Anyway, I think it's better to reinforce any fork for safety. So there are no insoluble problems when you want to transform your coaster bike to an e-bike. I did it and I keep loading it with heavy cargo and riding in hills. A coaster e-bike is really cool thing. The owners are the only ones who can understand what I'm talking about. I hope one day I'll make a cargo e-bike to carry bigger and heavier cargo.